Okay, I'm here in Liberty Town at Dynamic Automotive. They have three locations in Frederick County, and I'm at their Liberty Town location. And we're going to have the transmission serviced on my Prius, and we're going to show you why and how we do that. Hello, my name is Todd Zimmerman. I'm a Senior Master Certified Technician at Dynamic Automotive. And today we will be changing the CVT fluid, which is the constant variable transmission fluid, on this Toyota Prius. The Toyota Prius uses a Toyota transmission fluid, WS. It is very specific for the constantly variable transmission. Uh, fluid is rather expensive. However, transmission only holds four quarts. Um, this transmission, while not equipped with a dipstick, incorporates a, both a fill plug and a drain plug. And the fill plug is actually the level indicator plug, and that's where it needs to be checked. Certainly something that can't be, well, with, it can't be performed at home with any ease. It, it certainly should have to go up on the lift to remove the fill plug to inspect the fluid level and also the condition. Uh, transmission fluids often overlooked as a maintenance item in a constantly variable transmission because for one, there is no stick to check it. So out of sight, out of mind typically. Um, Definitely should be done. The constantly variable transmission does generate a lot more heat than a normal transmission, and it, it does break the fluid down over time. Okay, here is the level fill plug and also the checking plug for checking the, the level height of the fluid. And uh, that's also where you would do a fluid condition check by getting a little bit on, on your finger and, and actually checking it. Um, okay. And then down here is the drain plug, and this plug is the one where you would remove it, drain all the fluid out, and then put it in before you refill it. Absolutely. Uh, not to confuse this plug, which is a coolant plug, and this transmission actually has coolant that runs through it as well, engine antifreeze, wow. uh, via these two pipes here and here. Gotcha. Good information. So we're going to insert the, the stick down into the transmission, down into the fluid. And go ahead and take a sample here. Okay, here's the sample that we've removed from this Prius. Uh, you can definitely see the, the discoloration. It's more of a, a black fluid. Looks almost as if it's uh, used engine oil. And now we're going to go ahead and remove the fluid drain plug to go ahead and get this old fluid out of this transmission. And there it comes, and you can see just how dirty it is. And that's only about four quarts that this transmission holds. So it actually comes out pretty quick. So that's all the more reason to change it periodically because you're only having to buy four quarts as opposed to other transmissions that take a lot more than that, right? Correct, yes. And such as a small amount of fluid that it holds, it actually breaks down probably quicker than a transmission with a larger capacity. Yeah, a lot of people say that this should be changed every 30,000 miles. I, I don't know, you know, I guess it's up to the individual owner, but I'm probably going to do it at about every 50,000. Which wouldn't be a bad idea. Now we're going to go ahead and install the drain plug on the transmission. Uh, here is the aluminum gasket that goes on this plug. It's very important to inspect this while you're doing the service and replace it as required. Uh, we're going to go ahead and install the gasket back onto the drain plug and we're going to go ahead and thread it in by hand. Now it's very important that once you get this up in there to torque this plug properly. The factory specification on this is 29 foot-pounds. and We're going to go ahead and set that in there at 29 foot-pounds and here and if you over torque that, you're going to mess up that aluminum housing of that transmission, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. So th this is a very crucial step in the service, is torquing this properly. 
Not only could you damage the housing, if you over torque it, if you under torque it, you run the risk of possibly the, the plug coming out and losing all your fluid. Yeah, either way is a bad situation. Correct. And here we go. And there is 29 foot pounds. Here's one of the tricky parts with putting the fluid back in. You can't exactly get a bottle to the filler plug. Um, what I'm using here is a suction gun and we, we remove the cap, fill the tube, and then simply push it in with the shaft here. And we'll have to do this probably about eight times. Uh, it holds about a half a quart and this transmission uh, takes about four quarts total. Okay, and here we are putting the final uh, amount of the fourth quart into this unit. Uh, this transmission only holds four quarts, so towards the end of this we should start to get some fluid leakage coming down out of this transmission indicating that it is indeed full. Uh, so there we go, you'll see the fluid starting to drip right there. And that is the very last amount of the fluid I have. Let me go ahead and remove this. And there, our fluid level is set now. Okay, and here we are. We're going to go ahead and to uh, torque, all, torque the fill plug to 29 foot-pounds as well. Okay, and there we go. Okay, and here we are at the conclusion of changing the transmission fluid in this CVT, the constant variable transmission, in this 2004 Toyota Prius. Uh, the fluid here is a sample of what the new fluid should look like. Uh, and the fluid here is an example of the old fluid that's been heat cycled several times uh, and it's definitely starting to thermally break down. Uh, the discoloration is also uh, some of the clutch material that's, that's discoloring it as well. So not only the heat, but the clutch material breaking down over time as well. Um, so that's just a good example of what, what new and old looks like. Hello, my name is Jose Bueso and this is Todd Zimmerman. We're at the Liberty Town location of Dynamic Automotive. You can find us at 11931 Main Street, Liberty Town, Maryland, and our phone number is 301-694-6250. We do all kinds of work here. We work on both foreign and domestic automobiles, and we do light trucks also. And Todd here is an expert on diesel technology. He can take care of all of your automotive and truck needs. Thank you.